How's it going, Tri Creek? Last weekend, we got a great update from Edmodo that it is now fully integrated with our Google Docs account. So what I want to do is walk you through step by step how you can get your students connected, how you can get yourself connected, and what the process is for your students to turn in files uh, from Google Docs into your Edmodo account. That way we're not worried about connected folders or shared folders in Google Docs anymore and we can use Edmodo's organizational system to get us access right to our students Google Docs. I think it's a great update and something that we're going to use a lot. So to sign up yourself or your students, the first thing that you need to do is navigate to your library and your library is here in the upper part of the screen right in the middle. So go ahead and click on uh, your library link and that will take you into your library. And you'll notice over on the left hand side that there is a new link called Google Docs. So we will go ahead and click on that Google Docs link and then we will click on connect with Google Docs. This screen will pop up. What you need to have your students do is log in using their whole Google Docs email address. For instance, if I was at the middle school, I would be jwillman at lms.tricreek.k12.in.us. If I was at the high school, it would be LHS. Three Creeks would be TCE, Oak Hill would be OHE, and Lake Prairie would be LPE. If you were at any of those buildings, it's important that your students do that. So that's their whole Google Documents address, and you'll type in your password and then sign in. Once you click on sign in, it's going to ask you to allow access. We're going to grant access uh, from Google for Edmodo to be able to manage our account. And then that will then go ahead and bring in all of the information into your Edmodo library. And now you'll see when you click on Google Docs that there are all of your Google documents just sitting there from your account waiting to be turned in. You can see more. Um, this is really not going to be a huge deal uh, that because you're going to see your latest Google Docs at the top. That way, once your student's done working on something, they can turn it in, but it'll be right at the top of the list for them to turn in. So let's talk about how we'll have students turn in these documents and how we as teachers will have access to edit them uh, to make comments on them. So I'm going to go back. I have a, a test account that I'm a student in so we can show you all of this. So you'll see that as a teacher, the teacher of this, this class has asked me to turn in an assignment, so please turn in a Google document. Obviously, this is going to be much more formal for you. You're going to have much more clear instructions, but I just want to walk through the process of how to get that Google Doc in. So as a student, they'll see this screen. They can type you a little message, and they're going to travel to their library to find their Google document. And then all they're going to do is click on Google Docs, and it's going to bring up a list of their latest Google Docs. So let's say that I want to uh, give the teacher the attendance for Tech PD program, and then I'm going to allow users connected with their Google account to edit. So when your students click on this checkbox, it's important that they do, you'll be able to edit. You'll be able to leave comments and you'll be able to see their full document from Google Docs. So it's an important step in the process to make sure that they have this checked when they turn it in. That way, the teacher will be able to go in and add comments, do all of that. This really eliminates the need for that shared folder between the teacher because they'll be able to do it from this standpoint. Once they click on Attach, they'll click Turn in Assignment. And then the assignment will then turn in once it loads all the way. We'll give it a second here. Okay, so now as a student I see that my assignment is now turned in. I'm going to switch over to the teacher account. So now that we're in the teacher account, let me go to my class. And I'll notice that there will be one assignment turned in, so I'll see turned in. So on the teacher standpoint, here's the teacher center. I'm going to set this out of one point. And now when I click on my student's assignment for turned in, what I can do as a teacher now, since my student gave me access to edit this, I can open it in Google Docs and it will go ahead and open up the assignment in Google Docs for me. And now I have full uh, editing rights in Google Docs 
to be able to go through and to add uh, different content and to be able to leave my notes and all of that. So again, a great way to be able to use that. You can leave your comments and then give a grade right away. So we've never had to print anything out. We've never had to leave uh, Edmodo. It took us right to Google Docs, gave us the ability to edit the document live from where we were. So I think this is a great thing to be able to use. And I think it's going to be a wonderful thing for your class for organization. And especially as we look at writers workshops or papers or anything creative that you want your students to turn in, Edmodo is going to be a great hub for us to turn those assignments in. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to give me an email uh, or send me a call or a message, and we will get everything taken care of for you. Have a wonderful day.